Yo, what's going on guys, it's by Crowd, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create cool text, 3D text for a logo. So first off, what you're going to do is... Yo, what's going on guys, it's by Crowd, and in this video I'm going to show you on how to create cool text. So first off, what you're going to do is go to your render settings and put in whatever width or height you want so i'm just going to leave it the same as it is so next what when you've done that is go to more graph at the top and then more text this will then create text for your logo sometimes it does go very slow so just be patient please It's only because I'm recording normally it's really fast and it's cool but I'm getting a might be getting a new laptop for Christmas so that's alright. So your picture it your text is added in. You use um the R to rotate and rotate it to however you want. So I'm just gonna put it forty eight point five and put it in the middle there. So once you've done that you click on more text here and then go to where it says text at the bottom and change text to whatever you want so I'm just going to put tutorial then that will change that and then you're going to just then put it where you want there's like little faded lines and that's how far it can go so once you've put in that click on more text again and put on whatever font you want if you've noticed I've used the same font quite a lot so I'm just going to use this again which is the Batman font and if this gets enough likes I may put it in the description if you guys want to nope that's not the right one so a Batman Forever one I may have to um, shrink it or something so I'll now put it in see it changes so I'm just going to shrink it to 100 and you do that by going to your height right so once you've done this you could do then go to your depth and you change depth of this one up to 100 and you can see that pulls out the depth of that so once you've done that so once you've done that you are then going to click on more text and then press ctrl c ctrl v that creates an extra um, one so you have more text your original one and more text one you click on more text dot one and then go to your depth and then put that to about 50 so then that's just half the size and then you're going to rotate it by using the third one along here and then you're going to Put this in the middle. Hopefully, it goes right in the middle. You can't see it's done anything yet, but once you've clicked on that, go to caps, click on the second one that you created, go to start, and then press fill it cap, and you can see it changes. And then go to end cap, put it to fill it, and convex, change that to one step. So now you should have something that looks like this when you render it so now you've done that you're just going to double click this bottom bit and to create a colour um, to create a good colour you're going to just double click on the MAT um, Sophia thing when it loads in sorry it's being slow guys alright so it's loading in now so you're gonna change the colour this pops up and you're gonna change the colour to whatever you want so I'm just gonna make it a light blue and then down the side here you have colour, diffusion, luminance, transparency, reflection and all like that so uh, I'm gonna click on luminance you have to click this square to tick it so once you've done that you're going to then put back into the colour you want so I'm gonna put in a light blue so it's like this once you've done that you're going to press on texture 
and Fresnel. Once you've done that, you are going to then take the brightness down to about 20 and the mixed mode, uh, the mixed strength, put that to about 30. Now you've done that, close that off and then you can either put that to your first one or your second one. I'm going to put it to my second one and this is what it looks like so far. So once you've done that, you are then going to create another colour. Once it works. Sorry about this guys, it's because of me recording. Right, so it's loading in now. Double click it again. And you're going to have to pick, find a colour that goes with the the background one. So I'm going to do a... I'll try and do a red. See if that works. Okay, so I'm going to use that colour and then go to texture and click on Fresnel again. Make strength. This time put that to 30. And your mix strength put that to 20. I'm going to have to make the colour on this. Always, always remember to make the colour on colour as well. So now I've done that, I am then going to put in, put it in on. Oh, no, wrong one. Put it in on there and render it. There, that looks pretty cool. So once you've done that, just put it to how you want, and then you're going to add a light. I'm going to add a infinite light and you're going to bring that so it's in front once you've done that then you can either put in a plane or a disc whatever you want I'm just going to add in a plane and rotate the H to 90, the P to 90, and the B to 90. Instead of putting that to 90, I might change it to 45. Bear with me a second, guys. I need to find out. Right, so that could do. So I'm just going to put that to the back of it. Like that. And stretch. And stretch it. Right, so now I've done that, I'm going to add another one. Just lift that up and I'm going to just click on the plane and control C, control and V. And I need to try and make this so it lies down on the floor. I could just rotate it.
Just hang on a second, guys. Okay, that's messed up, so I'm just going to delete that and add in another one. So I just need to turn that perfectly so it's hopefully right. Okay, so you want it about there. I'm sorry that took it took long. So once you've got it about the you're gonna pull this out so it's um change the width for uh, as high as you want. I've just put it nine 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 nine. You can also do this to the back one as well so it fits in okay so once you've done that you're going to get a white or black a black could do and then Go on to the MAT, like this again. Go to the reflection and then put to black again. Go to texture, Fresnel, change the brightness down to 18, the mix strength to about 30 and the blurriness put list, the best one to use is 13 so once you've done that just add it into the both of the planes and I, once you render it out it would look something kind of like this not exactly like that but something like that so I hope you like this tutorial guys please like, rate, subscribe and peace out